What's up everybody, Tony here with High Tech Check, and today we're sitting in my wife's Tesla Model 3. We are going to be installing a matte tempered glass screen protector because we're kind of tired of all the fingerprints and the glare from the screen all the time. So here is the protector we're gonna be installing. I will be putting a link in the description in case you guys wanna pick it up yourself. So the very first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is to put your screen into screen cleaning mode. The way that you do that is to hit the little car button on the side here, go to display, and we'll click on screen cleaning mode. As you can see, there is quite a glare from the screen, especially down at the bottom here, and there are a whole bunch of fingerprints. So we're gonna go ahead and clean that screen off. So it does come with one screen protector and a little packet that you can use to just clean the screen off, wipe it off, and install the screen protector. Once you've cleaned it off with the alcohol wipe, I'm gonna go ahead and take the cloth that comes with it just to kind of get rid of any smudges or anything else that may have been left. As you can see, there are. Now, one of the main reasons why I chose a tempered glass screen protector over the plastic film was because I wanted something that protected the screen a little more than just a thin plastic film. That's why I always like to go with the tempered glass. Okay, so from what I can see, everything looks good. So now we're gonna go ahead and get our screen protector here. So here is the screen protector, just one big piece of glass. So here is the back. It shows the little uh, sticker here that we're gonna peel off and that's the side that's gonna go onto the screen. It doesn't matter which way you put the screen protector because it's, it's equally symmetrical. Uh, we'll just go ahead and install it just like that and it pretty much covers the whole entire screen, which is nice. Now, if you do have dust on your screen, it does come with a dust sticker that you can use to remove some of the dust, but I don't see anything on there right now. So to try to get perfect placement of the screen protector, I'm gonna go ahead and use some tape to kind of make like a little hinge. It doesn't recommend that you do this, but I think it's gonna be a lot better than just not having it. So I'm gonna go ahead and use some tape. I also brought a little squeegee to kind of squeegee out some of the bubbles. So now I'm gonna take one more piece of tape and put it on the bottom of the screen protector to try to use it as a guide. Check for dust one more time. I'm gonna go ahead and peel off the underside sticker. And then we're gonna go ahead and squeegee down the top here. And that looks pretty good. I don't see uh, any bubbles whatsoever, so that's pretty nice. So as you saw, the little piece of tape that I used uh, as a guide didn't work. This little blue thing didn't work, but the hinge idea that I used worked really well. You make a couple hinges at the top and it kind of just falls into place. Then if you have a squeegee or a credit card or something, as you saw, I just kind of squeegee down from the top and there are absolutely no bubbles. So, so far so good. And as you can see, the tape came right off. So let's go ahead and see how the touch is. Touch seems to work pretty well. Yeah, everything works pretty good. It does, it does dull the screen. I don't know if you guys can tell, but from what I can see, it's definitely not as sharp as it was, but it's super smooth. You don't have to worry about uh, any fingerprints looks really nice. It touch works perfectly fine, very responsive. Again, I can't I can't tell you enough how it's like night and day the difference between glass and this the mat. It's just it is so smooth. Your finger just kind of glides across the screen, which is really nice. Very nice. So let's go ahead and take a look at YouTube real quick. Take a look at one of my videos. There are slight, slight smudges on the screen uh, where I was touching, but it's definitely not nearly as bad as it was when it was just the glass screen. So the picture does look really good. It doesn't look as sharp as it did before. It's a little softer than it was, but the picture quality is still really good and the touch seems to be working excellent. And now there's no glare when you're watching your screen. So yeah, 
definitely no glare <laughs> no glare anymore so that's awesome uh, touch working great there are absolutely no bubbles and this didn't cost a lot of money i think it was around like 22 dollars if that there might be like a coupon or something that you can use but i'm definitely happy with this way happier than i was with the uh, fingerprint screen uh, and the glare uh, looks really nice so again i will be putting a link in the description in case you guys want to pick this up yourself and if you guys like me and you want to support my channel please use those links because it helps me keep purchasing products to do reviews for you guys so i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and hit that little notification bell so that you guys know when i put out new videos thank you guys for watching i hope you have a great day and i'll see you in the next one later